What's up, guys? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis, hanging out in the studio with my girl, Dana Ward. Hello. And we have a very exciting guest in the studio. You guys know him as Tony on Disney's hit, Jesse. It's Chris Gallia. How What's up? How's hey, it Chris? going? How are you? It's going well. That's good, that's good. <laughs> so Jesse's doing amazingly. The fans love it. Um, break down Tony. How do you see him? Tony, he's you know he's a nice guy. He's a real nice guy. He's, he works at the building. He uh, tries to pay attention to everything and really knows what's going on. So he means well and everything. But if I had to relate him to somebody, it's probably um, probably uh, Joey from Friends. Very like that. Really? Like, so, <laughs> sometimes he's not all you know. Yeah. But, but he means well. But he's like, and then uh, he takes a liking to Jesse. Obviously, when she first moves to New York. Mm -hmm. So that um, that catches his eye a little bit. But he's he's nice. You know, he's always looking out. He's a doorman, so he has to be. You know, looking keep out. his eye on everybody, all the people, make sure they're all good at, in the building and everything. So. Now, before we get to the details, I definitely want to talk about some romance on the show, some possibilities. <laughs> but, you know, we love hearing stories about auditioning because mm. I'm guessing that this show was very highly anticipated. Totally. Everybody in Hollywood was talking about it. You know, Debbie Ryan was attached. How did you get this job? What was the process like for you? All right, so I got, I got an email for the show, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't know the name of it, the network, anything. And the audition was at 5 o'clock at night. And I had to go to Milwaukee the next day or that night at like seven and I almost didn't go to the audition. I was oh. like, and that day was crazy. I had like four auditions that day and I was like, you know what, I can't, I can't go, I can't. I was like, it's too much, but I don't like missing auditions. So I, re I read through it a few times and then I saw it was like a New Yorker kind of and I mean, I'm from New Jersey and my friends mm -hmm. are all, so I got used to, I mean, I could talk like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was like, all right, this should be fun. So I went in and I, uh, I had fun with it, you know? And then um, I got a call back and then there was like, another one and I was like okay so this I gotta you know and then just kept narrowing down narrowing down and it was just like more nerves and more nerves and I was like oh <laughs> and then um, they brought in Debbie and I, I read with her and great chemistry with her she's amazing and yeah what was the scene like that you guys did or how did you meet it was actually the pepper spray scene I don't know if you caught that episode but it was <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, yeah that was that was the audition scene and uh, she pepper sprayed me in the face few times and then uh, we were in the room with everybody. <laughs> it was uh, pretty fun. It was pretty good. It was good. And so obviously it worked. Yeah, so right? There you go. <laughs> Wait, so when you guys actually shot that scene, what did you use in place of pepper spray? Because I'm really hoping that wasn't actually pepper no. spray. <laughs> Method My, actor. It was, it was water, but um, I know a kid who actually did that just for a dare for no reason. And he was a water. He was washing out his eyes for like an hour. So I'm glad it was just water. Yeah. yeah it was just water. It seems like there are a lot of fun interesting adventures that happen on the show that you guys go on. What has been your favorite scene to shoot so far? Well, there's an episode that hasn't aired yet that I really like. I don't know if I want to give anything away, but it was uh, it was very, it was like a, I'll say fairy tale, kind of. Ooh. So, that was fun. That was a good episode. That was really fun. But all, all the scenes are like, everything's just, everything's always a fun thing. Like, there's never a moment where it's just like, like, there's always something happening, and it's, it's, it's great. Well, there are so many co-stars full of energy. Oh, man, they're great. Talk to <laughs> us a little bit about working with all the kids, because we've met them. They're really fun, really cool. What's it like behind the scenes for you guys? That's just who they are, you know? Karin, Cameron, Sky, Peyton. That's just, they're all great kids, you know? They, they have so many, like, they're always energetic, and they're always, like, positive, and there's, like, you can fool around and, like, have, have inside jokes with all of them, and, uh, we play pranks on each other, and there's handshakes, and like, it's, it's <laughs> yes, I have a, a sweet Mario one with Cameron, and <laughs> there's one with Car. Yes, yeah, it's just cool, you know. They're they're little kids, but they're still like, they, you know, it's like you can still relate and like have fun, and it brings out your inner kid kind of. So it's cool. And then of course there's Debbie, who oh, we yeah. love. We've had on the show many times. She's definitely one of our favorites. Totally. And she's been on the Disney scene for a while now. Has she given you any like tips or helped you out or anything at all? Yeah, I mean I I try to learn from actually all of them because a lot of them have a lot more experience than I do coming into. This. So like I look at like I'll Cameron or Kevin or even you know a Debbie especially because she's been on it right. and she knows just how it how it all goes. And I look up to all these people and even though they're younger, like Debbie, she's 18, but she's so much. She's almost older, you know what I mean? Right. Like, Very she, just kn she knows mm -hmm. the ins and outs of her show. She pays attention to everything. Like, there's a few scenarios where, like, there was something with a door, and she pointed it out from the previous episode that it wouldn't work out. And she's, so she's very involved, and I feel like there's going to be a lot, cool. of, a lot of producing in the future. That's for awesome. Her. Yeah. Um, speaking of Debbie, and I already hinted at this, <laughs> but I mean, come on, when's the real romance going to start happening? <laughs> We're throwing about? the hearts up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. 
When's like the kiss gonna go down? What's happening? I don't know. Just get to the heart of the matter. How do you spell? I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are you talking about? Um, you know what? Um, there was in that we went out on a date the first time, and I got pepper sprayed, and that wasn't too fun. So <laughs> Tony wants to, uh, you know, redeem himself, and he, he's right now he's trying to get that uh, that next date, hopefully. So that's, that's as far Wait. as all. But <laughs> what's the perfect date for Tony and Jesse? I think anything where he could just, you know, go out and, and talk to Jesse. And just that's pretty much like anything. Like the one that he was, he went out of the park and he brought like all of his uh, his food and all that stuff. Like he just wants to, you know, just hang out and not have something go wrong. Exactly. <laughs> have a go well. Poor guy. Yeah. Now speaking of dates, I'm sure the ladies and I'm sure you have tons of fans out there. What's been the craziest experience so far for you out in the real world as Chris? Well, there's actually. Um, it was actually like close to Black Friday, like last week. And it was, I was at H uh, and M, and I think it was at um, Century City. So I went in H and M, and there was this little girl, and she, I guess she recognized me or something. So she's like, she's, I was walking, I was walking down the stairs, and she was walking up, and she like popped up for a second. She looked at me, and then she was just like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> so she like she was just trying to make a click in her head, and she was like, "Oh wait!" So then I was on the first floor, and I see her uh, run down the stairs to the first floor platform before the steps go fully down. And she goes and she stops, and she's like, she's looking, she's like, <laughs> she's looking down, and then she looks at me, and she like whispers to her mom or whatever. And then she came down, and she started like following me and stuff like that. And it's, it's really cute how they do that, and it's like, I was like checking out, and she, I see her, she's like this. And then I look and she goes. <laughs> so they they don't they don't come up to me like they haven't. I've had a few few experiences where they they see me and they look at me and they're like they whisper into like their brothers or sisters or friends and they they want to say something but they don't. Aww, it's funny. Just waves. Right. I mean, <laughs> us a smile and stuff like that. But I mean, it's just it's funny how they act. Like That's they're like so cute. Oh my yeah. gosh, you guys go up to him and say <laughs> hi. <laughs> no, Attack him. Something. <laughs> Hug him! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go say hi, though. Um, say hello. I read this article, actually, that you did an interview for a while back, I think during your modeling days. Hello. Quite the model, by the way. <laughs> um, that something about singing for Glee, like that you would like to do that. Are we going to see you sing on Jesse at all? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Are I you a like, singer? Is that I can you secretly, do? you know, carry out a tune. Nice. <laughs> but uh, who knows? You never know. You maybe. and Debbie should do a duet. Are you open to that? You know Cameron can sing too, right? And Katria? Kevin and Kevin can oh sing too. Oh my goodness! Too. There's like a whole. You can be the Von Trapps. You can be like the <laughs> yeah, the rebel, form some type of group or something, right? Oh, very very cool. Yeah. So fill us in on what's coming down the pipeline for Jesse overall, the show wise. Well, there's a lot of still crazy antics that are going to happen with every character. There's some new characters coming in. There's some previous characters coming back into new episodes, and there's you know just. They're gonna start developing some more storylines down the line for you know Jesse and the kids, and really start putting it together. So and some romance nice. for Jesse and Tony. I know. And some romance. We've been hearing about this romance since before the show even started. <laughs> so we're we're, we're definitely we're ready for the kiss. We're ready for that. Huh? We're ready for it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to ask too. It's December. The holidays are upon us. I know you're from the East Coast. Do you have any mm -hmm. favorite traditions or anything like that for the holidays? Well, my mom, she really doesn't get out. I'm, I mean, I'm from Jersey, but I spent most of my time in New York. I mean, I was a doorman in New York, so. Were you yeah. really? Wait, in yeah. real life? Real life, before I moved out here. What? Tell us about that uh, first. Here we go, ready? So I was a doorman at Michael Kors, right? On 61st and Madison, where the show actually kind of takes place, because it's like Central Park is right there. What? And it's kind of like the building, like, you know, it's right there. I was a doorman. That's insane. I so wore like a suit, you know? What's different? Open the door. From being a doorman in real life versus being a doorman on Jesse, the show. Well, I mean, uh, I think it's really the same same things go into it. I mean, you're like, open the door for people. <laughs> 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 the same qualities. <laughs> it's basically, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I thought maybe there's something totally different. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I guess once you have that one, you can work on your your technique for like. You know, oh, I'm sure yeah. you can really <laughs> get, get in the gym. I mean, going. there's always there's always something Tricep. you do to like yeah. enhance your performance. So it's like you know, get in the gym, just, <laughs> just really know how to open that door. 
But that's yeah. how you landed the job. Okay. I, I had prior experience. Real life experience. Yeah. Real life experience. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, I didn't tell you I'm that. I'm surprised you didn't lead with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, I, and going back to the holidays, I uh, I go back east and um, it's a really small group with with family. It's like just my intermediate family and then my grandma, grandpa, you know, all that good mm -hmm. stuff. And uh, our traditions are we, we go Christmas Eve at my house and everybody gets there and we watch uh, we watch Elf and we watch Chevy Chase Christmas Vacation. Awesome. No matter what. Classic. Every year, every year. I mean, I know Elf is kind of new to the scene. It was always just uh, Chevy Chase, but now Elf and then Chevy Chase and then Christmas <laughs> and eggnog and, you know. The whole scene. You do it up. Thing. And then we go to, uh, like, it's my, my dad's birthday on uh, December 27th, so. Happy early birthday. No. Dad. <laughs> yeah, right? And uh, he, um, we usually go back to his parent, his, his parents' house, and then they have Christmas at their house. So it's many, well, many celebrations. Yeah. celebrations. You gotta have, I like the Christmas, you gotta have Christmas sweater events too. You gotta do that. Oh, are you a big Christmas sweater the wearer? ugly Christmas sweater? Yeah, yeah, they need to be ugly. You got the ugliest sweater, I mean, the better. They're all Uglier, pretty, the better. Yeah. but ugly. Pretty good. Oh good. yeah, with I bells mean, and cats, ugly. I prefer. <laughs> Like they have everything, like the reindeers and <laughs> snowmen, and like they try. But then yeah. it's just like, that's an awesome ugly sweater, and I want. I do too. <laughs> well, it's happy the season. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Congratulations on Jesse. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for coming by the studio. No problem. Happy to be here. It's been really fun. It's been great. You yeah. guys out there watching, make sure to stick with Clever TV for all the latest on Jesse, the rest of your favorite shows, and of course your favorite stars. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.